I just conquered your entire corpse. God. <laughs> Hey, welcome to EDM Matters. I'm Matt Meadow. Our special guest today is Leah Culver. She is a DJ, producer, singer from Atlanta, and she's here with us today. So happy to have you. Thank you so much for coming on our show. How are you doing? Oh, I'm good. Thank you for having me. Of course. Um, well, I want to start off our interview by asking you about Imagine Music Festival, because that's coming up really yeah. soon, and I know that's one of your favorite events to do every year, hailing from Atlanta. Tell us a little bit about Imagine and what it means to you as an artist. Well, a magic music, uh, <laughs> Imagine Music Festival is, um, is really special because I have, I've watched it from the ground up. Yeah. And I believe this is their sixth year. And it feels so much longer. Yeah. And yeah. I think that's because they have their promotion company, Iris, that's been mm -hmm. going a long time as well. It's, it's really cool. Maddie and Glenn are, are really dear family friends of mine. Oh, wow. Um, she... Maddie used to get her teeth done by my mom, and that's really? kind of how it all came about. Yeah. Oh, it's incredible. Yeah, but anyway, yeah. Imagine Music Festival. Is, it's amazing, and this year is going to be bigger and and better than ever. I mean, not not I'm just seeing. for the festival, but for you as well. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, it, I I'm really excited because this year is going to be a little different. It's a different yeah. type of set. Well, tell us a little bit. Like, what do you mean? So normally when I do my sets, I you know I DJ and I go out and sing. Those mm -hmm. are like my regular show yeah. sets. Um, but and usually on festivals I'll bring out guitars, drums, mm -hmm. and specifically for Imagine Festival I like to like, you know, pay it to my home. Uh, bring out like a kids choir, like. This you did that last year with the choir, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah that was really cool. Yeah, that they were amazing and so so cute. <laughs> <laughs> so. Can you tell us what you're going to do this year, or are you going to keep it a little bit of a surprise? I kind of want to keep it a little bit of a surprise, yeah. but um, along the lines of like kind of what I did with the kids' choir, only a little more aggressive. <laughs> so In a good way. it's a kid's like roller derby team. Exactly. How did you... <laughs> Knew it. Dang it. Oh, my God. Because that's big in Atlanta. Is roller... I, don't... I, don't, I, I don't know. I would it, love yeah. to just in general go to anything <laughs> just have a roller, roller derby. Exactly. <laughs> I'm sure there's a place. Yeah. So you're doing that, which is great. Um, you just came out with a single called Try Me. Yeah. Which uh, definitely is also a bit more on the poppy side. Yeah. Different than your Demons EP, which was a little bit on the harder side. Very, yeah. Um, Demons was very dubstep, and I just needed to, you know, I was really just wanting to make aggressive stuff at the time. And then Try Me was kind of like a, for me, the meaning of Try Me was like, come at me, I'm going to pull through it. Yeah? Uh-huh. Definitely. And you were telling me earlier that hit radio. And it it's, did. <laughs> yeah. Is that your, that's, that's your first radio hit? Yeah. How does Hopefully. that feel? Honestly, I don't attach to it, to be really honest. Really? Yeah. The for, Okay, two things happen that, I you know, I don't think about it. I never look at numbers or comments and things like that for the okay. most part. Um, but two things happen where I was like, this is real. You know, this is kind of crazy. Like, um... In an airport, someone recognized me for Try Me, which was wild. Oh, amazing. You know, it's like, it, I haven't heard it on the radio myself, okay. so it's like not real to me, but it's real. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and uh, yeah, it hit radio, it, I think it went to like 24 markets. Damn. Um, and I'm, I'm learning a lot about radio through this experience. Like, you, you have to go to secondary markets first Okay. Um, to kind of attest the water, and then they then you can go to what they call iHeart Radio territory. Uh huh. Gotcha. Like okay. The Chicago and the yeah, city. all the major like L. A. and New York and right. yeah, mm -hmm. that's really fascinating. I'm like I haven't I don't know anything about radio and pitching to radio. So like I just turn on the radio and I listen to whatever's on there. So that's really fascinating. Yeah, it's it's cool to kind of get to learn about a new side of the music industry. You know? Very cool. Having been in EDM for so long, yeah. Um, kind of going to what I think maybe I am a little more naturally, which is has always been a singer. Okay. That, that loves bands like right. Panic at the Disco. <laughs> of and course, Grimoire, yeah. We've talked about yeah, that. exactly. Yeah. And Metro Station. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but earlier you were telling me something about Try Me. I don't. Can Can we tell? Our audience about the thing with Try Me that it's your first single. Yeah, sure. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't know where you're going. Yeah, oh, so <laughs> I was, I was trying like... to like lead you into it and be like, "Is it? A, I can." Yeah, yeah. Try. But Try Me is the lead single from your debut album. Yeah, 
and I'm working on creating an album and it'll definitely be in there and depending on if I make a better single maybe that'll be the, <laughs> you know I don't know but it's all exciting and it, it's all doable and possible so it's kind of fun to just be absolutely I mean that's I I talk about debut albums to my friends all the time about how they're so important in establishing an artist's career because it's, it's the first time you're really able to tell like a, a fuller story with your music and I feel like you especially as a singer songwriter and DJ producer like you have the best of both worlds where you can really dig deep and find that inspiration yeah it, it's honestly being able to produce it and sing it is like being able to take this huge clay and just like mold it into exactly what you want to make you can take them through an entire journey and control the whole thing and that's that's really cool. I'm really grateful. I'm really grateful. Yeah. For the opportunity to. Yeah. There's. Yeah. I mean, just to, to even be able to do what you love to do. You Absolutely. Know? I mean, yeah. No, I, I think that's a really important. Uh, I can't even think of the word, but like it's it's an important thing to recognize is when you're able to do something that you're passionate about, and even make people happy with it. Like that, that especially. That is the coolest part. Yeah. It's like you you can touch people. Like um. Nate and I were talking about this on the ride here eliminate. from Vegas. Yeah, eliminate. Um, just how there's so many blessings to count. And it's just so cool to, like, interact with these people. Like, you know, the messages you get, you know, from yeah. people saying, like, hey, this song impacted me in a really large way. Or people coming I, up. I love hearing those stories. Like, as, as cheesy as some of them might be, like, it it's really, like, telling, like, uh, confiding in an artist in that way. Yeah. I mean, like, your music helped me. Like, that's got to feel so amazing. That's all that matters. Yeah. To me, that is literally the the all that matters yeah. at this point is making impact. And, like, I was honestly thinking again today in the long car ride yeah. from Vegas, um, I was asking myself the questions about, like, when you make money and you get to that place where you're making a lot of money, is what part of that is going to matter to you? Yeah, and the I legacy myself, you leave behind. Yeah, and and I really just want to be able to leave this planet and have really, really impacted as many as I can. Absolutely. And, you know, I, just asking yourself the question like, will you ever buy a house in the hills? I don't think I will. I don't <laughs> Not your I, thing. No, I think I'll I'll be. Uh, I don't know. I don't. You know what I mean? Those yeah. those several million dollar homes that. Do are you think really you'd nice. move back to Atlanta or stay in LA? Um, I think I'll probably have a place in Atlanta. Yeah. And uh, that's what I want to do is like buy For a few sure. places. That makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're going to stop that right there. We're going to go to our game segment, EDM Dojo, in a second. But uh, we're playing Mortal Kombat, so hopefully that'll be entertaining. I hope so. Uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We're both probably <laughs> pretty sleeped up right now. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> it's been a long weekend. All right, catch us in a second. We'll be right back. We are in the EDM Dojo. Today we're playing Mortal Kombat 11, and uh, this is pretty much our first, both of our first times playing this game. So uh, Leah has told me that she's really a, kind of a button masher. I've played fighting games before, and so I kind of know what I'm doing. But this is going to be a real, uh, I guess, testing ground for both of us. It's a toss up. It's definitely anything a toss up. Anything could happen right now. Really, literally anything. Anything. So we're going to start here. I'm Sub Zero. Using the Dimitri Vegas skin, which is out now and free for download, by the way. So, do that if you have the game. And Leah is playing as uh, Baraka. Who, uh, his name reminds me of, like... Obama. I was going to say, no. <laughs> I was going to say B.A. Baracus from the A-Team. <laughs> but yeah, Obama works, too. I mean, I, not very similar looking. No. No, not I'd at all. I'd say not at all, either. Much smaller teeth on Obama. Mm. <laughs> And also, no bone this is saws. Like Mr. Clean over here. And you can hear Dimitri's voice, which is <laughs> super interesting. <laughs> Would you ever voice act a video game? Absolutely. Actually, I've been thinking about doing some voice acting. No sh. Ah, oh, oops, I cursed. Uh, what, would you, what, do you think, what do you think you would do? Um, I'd like to do cartoons like um, maybe. A nerdy character, so I could do some like nasally type voice. Oh, I see that. Yeah. <laughs> so earlier we were talking about your time in Atlanta, 
And uh, you mentioned, oh, hold up, I got some axes on you. Hey. Oh, oh, oh what? What the? Oh, because you can, oh, you can use like the elements. Of, oh, there we go. You can use like elements of the stage, and I don't know how the heck to do it. <laughs> just yeah. jumping around. Grab stuff. So you were telling me about uh, ah. We just like kicked each other yeah. away. You're telling me about your time in Atlanta. Oh, you blocked it. Ah, oh, my suck. land. <laughs> yes. Um. So tell me a little bit. Oh, and the, that's gonna be the one to kill me. Yep. Let's be quiet. I just conquered your entire corpse. God. <laughs> okay. But. Ooh, oh, am I still? Turbulent. I, okay, no, I died. Yeah, okay, I thought I was still alive for some reason. Okay. Oh my god! Can you give me a break? No. <laughs> Here you go. Yeah, take take some axes to the head. So you want to tell me about? Oh my god! I'm trying to talk here. I want to talk. <laughs> that's the thing about playing. That's the thing about we we found out in these interviews oh. is like we get so into the games, talking just becomes Let so difficult. Oh my god. Cloud, cloud. Okay. Okay. Oh my god. So maybe, ah! maybe I just told you I'm a button smasher. Or maybe I'm a button smash. Or maybe you are. Either way, I'm it's getting a toss up I'm again. getting <laughs> rocked. <laughs> Rotten street fight. So now I'm gonna try it your way. Alright. Just try it, yeah. I mean you kinda get figure you can yeah. figure out what kind of combinations. I just want yeah, the <laughs> fight thing again. Oh yeah, I'm not gonna try to let you do cha, it. Cha, cha, cha. Oh my god. Ooh. I'm trying to pick in the freaking head. Ooh. There you go, freeze. And then <laughs> There we go. Yes. Oh! Yes! <laughs> That's wild. I'm like trying to like do different button combinations and Dodge. like nothing Ooh. is working. It must be like I know, so yeah. yeah. I don't know. Ah! We're just like at this point, we're just kind of kicking each other. I mean, trying to. Not very nice. Aha! I finally win one. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Okay. <laughs> wow. When you asked to play Mortal Kombat, I was really like. Pleasantly surprised. I was like, oh, we haven't done a fighting game yet. This is yeah, perfect. I actually like love Mortal, Mortal Kombat in like arcades. I was about to ask if you've done like the arcade. Like, For sure. yeah. I haven't played this one. I definitely like, I Duh, played Marvel. I, like, Marvel vs. Capcom was always my go to at arcades. Yeah. And that and like, do you remember the game uh, like Gauntlet Legacy? No, I didn't play that one. Oh, I, I had that actually for GameCube and that was, that was absolutely fantastic. I did all the cheats, got like, Oh, you had the cheese. Oh, I cheated my my weight that came heavy. I had GameCube. Okay. We are tied now, by the way. Xbox. But I don't play competitive games that much. No? Mm -mm. Okay. No. I, I'm getting my, my butt. Well, I, I finally found my groove. <laughs> yeah, you might have. Okay, you figured out the ice thing. I need to figure out how to bite you again with those teeth. <laughs> it's not very nice of you. Ah, uh, you know. You yeah, know. Oh, boy. Okay. All right, come on, come on. Come on. It's like, okay, okay, okay. Oops. Oh my god. Okay. I'm trying to stay away from you a little bit. Okay, it's like the button. Ah. I feel like they're working as well. Oh, yeah, blame the controller. <laughs> no, it's definitely me. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It's 100% me. Oh, crap. Okay. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay. Yeah, oh, oh, you, oh, you, oh my that god. That was it. Oh, I, oh, I have no idea what to do. We don't know. I have no idea. Well, I'm just going to do this then. Oh, that was new. That was cool. There we go. There you go. Sub Zero wins. There you have it. That was actually a really close <laughs> we match. Didn't, we didn't ask. We didn't talk we didn't, about. We didn't talk about a single question. <laughs> I kept trying, and I was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna go full on into the no, game. No, that was fun. Yeah. I mean, obviously, okay. like we're gonna play again it's some like other time, like off Michael camera. Scott. You see it? Oh my god! It looks like Michael Scott. <laughs> that de those like that definitely looks like Michael Scott. I wonder if he did any. He could totally do voices. Stuff like this. Absolutely, Steve Carell. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm sure there's like a like a Despicable Me video game. Maybe yeah, is there? Yeah, I'm sure there is that that um that whole. Is line. there? No. Okay. Should be. Maybe that it was, should that be. Was great. Yeah, go to the sure. yeah like one of those kind of like little slice of life things. Go to the oh, yeah. go to go to the pier, play some like carnival games. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be really cute. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Leah, for coming yeah, out. For sure. Really appreciate you. <laughs> This has been EDM Matters. We will see you next time. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of EDM Matters. I really appreciate it. If you did like the video, give it a like or leave a comment below. It really means a lot to us. 
If you want to see the previous episode, click here. And if you want to subscribe, which we hope you do, go here. Otherwise, we'll see you next time.